Today we're going to talk about how to do deep financial research on a company or on a set of companies within an industry. So from the home page of Pluckett Research Online, we're going to select Research a Company. Now let's locate the company you're interested in. So I'm going to try a Ford Motor Company today. I'm going to hit search. Notice there are several different units of Ford, but we're going to select the main company, Ford Motor Company. Now we've got the main company profile here. Let's go down to the financial results. Notice that we've got a summary financial table that covers six years of some of the most important components of profits, expenses, and revenues. But we've also got the ability to do deep financial research. So I'm going to click Financial Details. Now notice I've got various types of statements I can pull on the fly. Income statement, which is revenues and profits, balance sheet, cash flow, and then a ratios table. You might want to make a note of the industry code that your target company falls within, and I'll show you why in a minute this might be useful. Now to begin with, we've just got financial details here for the specific company. Income statement, balance sheet, notice how it's changed here, cash flow statement, etc. Notice it's very detailed information, much more detailed than what we had on the uh, summary on the original profile. Now let's go back to the company profile. Let's go down to the financial area again. Now let's compare our target company, which is Ford in this case, to industry averages. Here you'll see we can select all countries or perhaps just the U.S. or just the U.K., whatever you want. Here we can select by year. Just for illustration purposes, I'm going to take 2015. Now I can select worldwide, since I have all countries. I can select Ford Motor Company. I'm comparing it to the averages for 44 companies within its industry. So that's big automobile and truck manufacturers. Now this is really useful. Year by year, I can see how this company is comparing to its industry peers. Now, remember that I said we might want to keep track of our NAIC code. Let's go back to the company profile. Let's go down here and say we can build a custom table or compare companies. I'm going to do compare companies next. So I've got Ford Motor Company targeted already. I want to add companies. Then I have to determine how I'm going to select those companies. I could look for a company by name. I could look for companies by city. So I'm going to look by an AIC code, 33611. My goal here is to compare Ford directly against General Motors. Let's take GM. I'm going to go back here and say continue. Now I've got a direct comparison for my chosen year for Ford against General Motors. Now notice at the top of the company profile there's a tremendous tool called Industry Ranks. So if I just click here, I have Industry Ranks for Ford Motor Company. It's telling us what uh, NAIC industry codes ranges we're doing. Notice I've got stock market cap, employee count, net income, revenue growth, return on assets, return on equity, all of these wonderful rankings from one being the largest down to the smallest for the companies that I want to study. Notice here, I can click to make a PDF of this report on the fly. And that's a quick look today at the many ways we can do deep financial research for a company and the industry in which it operates. Many thanks.